We have lost Ferdinand. We have lost Ferdinand Tittivaldi. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, we have lost him. I'm here in Sarajevo and we have lost. Ah, oh, how is that possible? We have lost Ferdinand. Ferdinand Titivaldi. Let's go try to find him. Oh, okay, I need, I need to get ready. So as you see, I'm in uh, my apartment, the apartment I, I rented in the, in the, in the hills, on the, on the hills of, of Sarajevo. Quite a nice apartment. Look at that. And the, the owners brought me some fruits yesterday. Very nice. Have a kitchen, a bed, TV, a big sofa, and uh, well, even space for my stuff. A shower. Quite nice, 15 euros. It's a bit far. It's like one kilometer and a half from the from the city center, but uh, but it's nice. It's a lot of space for me. Yes, I'm ready. You can see I have the key, and I love how how professional is the <laughs> the apartment I'm staying. It's a professional looking sign. But it's it's very nice. The owners are super super friendly. Yeah, they gave me fruit yesterday. They proposed me also yesterday. Look at that. To hide my my bicycle here. So my bicycle is safe here inside, so people don't see it. And as you can see, I uh, yesterday I went to a bike shop and uh, I bought I, I bought the screw I was missing. Well, the guy wanted to give it to me for free. I, I can feel there is a, a touch of, of Middle East, uh, of Middle Eastern uh, behaviors here. Because yeah, when I, I went to the bike shop to, to ask for a uh, balls and, uh, and the guy wanted to give it, to give them to me for free. So I just gave him money because it's so, so funny. It's like, that only happens in the Middle East. And well, it happens a bit in Bosnia also. The guy was so friendly, really. <laughs> So my murder guard is back on the bike. Anyway, we are not here to do that. I'll talk about the bike. So I'm gonna leave that closed. Do I have the key of my apartment? Yes. So that's the place where I stay. So let's go on the road and we will show you the view because it's really surprising actually. Sarajevo is such a hilly, I did not expect that, it's a big city, and it's such a hilly city, I mean it's, it's down in the valley, so the city center is down the valley, but the city is, a big, is big, so then all the houses are uh, really go up, up on the, on the slopes of the, of the valley, so the city is like really like a, like a V, it's just like that, it's really surprising, and it's super steep. Yeah, but today we are in search of Ferdinand. You know, now I'm Don Titic. Everybody knows I'm Don Titic now. But uh, Ferdinand, before I was Ferdinand Titivaldi. And, uh, and I don't know what's ha what, what happened to him, but apparently we lost him today. So really, I want to figure out where he is. Let's go look for him. Here in Sarajevo. So that's where my street is. I found it, so then it's easy. It's just going down and uh, I go straight, I arrive straight at the, the bazaar of, uh, of Sarajevo, which is the, the Muslim part of the city center. It's really funny, the city center is divided in, in two parts. Like you have the, the Christian part and the Muslim part. So you have the Muslim part that really looks like Turkey and the, and the Christian part <laughs> looks like uh, 
any uh, big uh, European city. Salam. Ah, Facultet Islamski Nauka Sarajevo. Yeah, it's definitely Ottoman style architecture. It's the Islamic uh, University. So that's the kind of main square for the for the Muslim part of the city center. So basically, that's not where we're going, but this way you have the bazaar, you have an old mosque here, you have all the street food here. But we're not going here, we're going to the... to look for Ferdinand. So let's go look for Ferdinand. And Ferdinand is up that road. It's really funny how the, the city is separated actually between the, the Muslim part and the Christian part. Look at this big gun. And what a view over over Sarajevo. Oh, that's the castle I want to go. I heard Ferdinand is there. I hope we can find him there. So basically all this area is the city center. The area which is closer to us, which is lower, is the Muslim part of the city center. And from where you see higher buildings, it's, uh, it's, it's the Christian part. Well, and then it's the modern city on, on the way down the valley. Well, that's only what I think. But when I arrived in, uh, in here, for my, uh, the first day I went out, I could really feel the weight of history here. I don't know, I had the impression that uh, it was a kind of a, a sadness, a general sadness about this city. Because you know all the people who are at least I, I th around 40 years old, they all have lived the siege of Sarajevo. That lasted for uh, three or four years, I think it's the longest, longest siege of a city in, in modern times. I had the impression that you could feel that there is still the sadness in the, in the eyes of the people about the, this experience that they had, this, well, probably rather traumatizing experience. You could feel that uh, people are not, there is no, well, I didn't feel uh, much happiness. I don't know. There is a weight. There is something making it heavier than uh, than other places. So where is this castle? Where is Ferdinand? Oh, I passed it. Oh. It's there we want to go. <clears throat> wow. Well, I guess it's going to be hard to enter. Because from what I've seen, I've, I've had a glimpse. Just now, it looks really destroyed. Ah. So I guess actually that it's this building. Oh my God.
You see the barbed wire? I guess they try to prevent people from going inside. Do you see all the impacts of bullets? And you see here the the roof collapsed. And it's funny because it's not on the maps, but uh, from the city center. It's the only thing you see. You see this like huge building over the city, like really with a, with a great view. You must have a fantastic view all, all over the city on, from this building. I guess Ferdinand is not here. You're gonna have to look for, for Ferdinand somewhere else. I guess it's a fortress, well, uh, a destroyed fortress that was guarding the entrance of Sarajevo. Because down there you have an old door, an old side door, which I will show you later. But uh, yeah, look, that's the way to Serbia. Well, I guess as soon as you leave uh, Sarajevo, you already you will already be in um, Republika, back in Republika Srpska, so the Serbian area of, of, of Bosnia. And then after Republika Srpska, it's, uh, it's, it's Serbia. So I guess that's the way I'm going to take when I will leave Sarajevo with my bike. Probably going to take this road. Voilà. And we arrive straight here. It's the town hall. Let's continue this way. And that's why I wanted to talk to you about the Austro Hungarian past of, of Sarajevo. Because that's the key to, to the story I'm saying when I say I look for Ferdinand. Ferdinand is uh, it's here. It's not this bridge, it's the next bridge. I don't know if you see where I'm going to. Or if you can guess what I'm trying to say, when I'm a, what I am about to say actually. Ferdinand. Actually I made a mistake, it's not Ferdinand Tietivaldi. It's Franz Ferdinand. And you can see remains of the war, bullet holes on the buildings. And that's the bridge. That's the bridge where Ferdinand died. Franz Ferdinand, the heir of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, was killed here. And that's where, basically, First World War started. I always imagined it was going to be a, a much bigger bridge, on a much bigger river. Such a tiny bridge for such a, an important event.
Hasta luego.